guys welcome to Ramta solutions welcome to another lesson on vertical projectile motion today on example 8 we're looking at the situation where a ball is thrown upwards from the top of the building the path of the ball is shown on the sketch so we are not going to use equations of motion to make our calculations today hmm, this will be interesting so without any waste of time let's try to understand this graph so we see we have a velocity versus time as you can see we have the information we have here is that um, upwards is positive why am i saying that vf equals vi plus a delta t when you look at this i still repeat acceleration is the gradient of of this graph all right and vi is the y-intercept this acceleration when we look at this graph the slope is negative so this means this acceleration must be negative right it means it must be negative okay so for this motion or for this question upwards has been chosen as positive okay but we're not going to use equations of motion so no worries about this now let's look at number a it says calculate the distance traveled from a to b now that distance is from a to b because we're not using equations of motion we will say um maybe let me not write distance a b rather we know this from maths a b is the area here is of a shape of a triangle so it's half base times height right between a b what is it what is our base it looks like it's 0 0,8 so this is the time it takes to reach maximum height it's 0 0,8 what is the height it's 7,84 I'm gonna write it as it is 7,84 now what is our answer 0 0,4 times 7,84 we have 3,14 meters right we have 3,14 meters that's the distance traveled from a to b now number b we have to calculate distance traveled from b to c again i will say bc equals what shape is this it's a triangle again so it's half base times height which i'm going to say it's bc now what is the what is the base here uh, it's 2,3 okay let me just write it 2,3 minus 0, 0,8 times the height is 14,7 I'm not including the negative because we're talking distance all right so this is half of 1,5 into 14,7 so this is 0, 0,75 times 14,7 it is 11,03 meters so bc is 11,3 meters right it is 11,3 meters okay all right now number c says we must calculate the height of the building to understand this this object goes up this object goes up right it goes up and then passes the point so this is point a this is point b and then this is point c so you know this point here uh, oh sorry i'm not saying the right thing 
um, let me erase this B. This B is the maximum height. So this B is here. You know this point here, you calculated it to be zero, not zero, man. It was 3,14, right? And you said this one here is BC, right? You said it's 11,03. What does it say about the height of the building? This means the height of the building must be this part here right this must be the height of the building all right this must be the height of the building okay so to answer this question we will say height of the building <clears throat> height of the building is what is it 11,03 minus 3,14 what is it? Mm. Okay, it looks like it's um, 7,89. Let me confirm it. 11,03 minus 3,14. Oh, that's pi. Oh, wow. Okay, that's 7,89 meters. All right, so that's the height of the building okay that's the height of the building okay guys all right so remember the demonstration here was simply just to show you how to calculate this okay it wasn't anything for a submissions presentation no when you submit you can just write this okay all right number D, the acceleration of the ball from A to B. Yo, it must be 9.8 or something close to that. Or even, but it should be negative 9.8. But let's see. Acceleration for point A, B is velocity at B minus velocity at A all over time at B minus time at A. If I'm confusing you, this comes from the fact that acceleration is equal to change in velocity over change in time. Now, what is velocity at point B? It's zero. What is velocity at point A? It's 7,84. What is the time at point B? 0, 0,8. And the time at point A? It's zero. Now, Arabic Muchini zero minus seven comma eight four over zero comma eight. The answer we are getting is negative nine point eight. Therefore, acceleration is nine point eight meters per second squared downwards right all right guys so this is it see you next time we have i think one or two more videos on vertical projectile motion and we will be done so with that being said it's a wrap see you next time and bye bye